Hey everyone, Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we're going to be talking about how to further protect yourself from new COVID variants, specifically the UK COVID variant, the South African COVID variant, and the Brazilian COVID variant. And unfortunately, all three variants of the COVID virus has been spotted in the United States and internationally if you're an international viewer watching my videos. Now, the main difference of these three new strands of coronavirus versus the original strand is the fact that these new strands are able to infect people at a faster rate, at a smaller viral load, and is able to spread much more quickly and release from your cells that it infects much more quickly, meaning it's going to get people sick very quickly, it's going to spread very quickly, and it's going to harm people more, which results in overall more dangerous situations for everyone involved, which is the entirety of the planet because this virus is everywhere. What's even more scary is that some of these new variants may, I use the word may because research isn't as extensive right now, be ineffective for some of the vaccines that we're taking. Even the great Dr. Fauci has even said that we are more concerned about the South African strain right now because when you do studies in the test tube, it shows that the ability of monoclonal antibodies that have been used for therapy don't really work as well for treatment. Which is really scary because that means the traditional modalities that we have to treat coronavirus and our own immune systems may not be well prepared to actually fight the South African strain from what we know of so far. So right now, we don't really know if our current vaccines are effective for these more virulent strains. However, there is something out there that will protect you regardless of whatever new coronavirus vaccine there is, and that is wearing a mask. I'm a huge mask advocate. I always make videos on coronavirus and advocate for mask usage for everyone as long as you don't have a medical disability that requires you not to wear a mask. I do think that everyone should wear a mask and there are ways to make your mask wearage more effective against these new strains. And this is how. So the best way to filter out coronavirus is the N95 mask that has 95% filtration. However, the N95 is still not widely available to the public. It's been mainly used in COVID ICU units. Some medical students don't even have access to multiple N95s. Actually, they gave me one N95 mask and said that I had to use it for as long as I can until they can give me another one. So I am trying to preserve my current one N95 mask by double masking and by using brown paper bags to prevent ultraviolet damage to my N95 mask, which goes on to my main point. There are ways to increase effectiveness of your current mask that you are using right now so that you get almost as much protection as an N95. All you honestly have to do is wear a second mask over the current mask that you are using and you can boost the amount of filtration that your mask can do. The traditional surgical masks has filtration effectiveness from 50 to 75%, which already is pretty high, but with these new variants, you really wanna get as high as possible because you don't wanna get the coronavirus. So when you double mask, a study that was published in Matters last summer, a scientific journal with a lot of credibility, have found that just increasing a layer of nylon in front of a surgical mask can increase surgical mask effectiveness from 75% to almost 90% filtration. I repeat, 90%, that's almost as much as an N95, which is at 95%. Now, the key reasons why double masking actually is very effective is two main reasons. You add more layers in front of your face so that there is more filtration and less likelihood of the virus going through those mask layers and into your mouth and nasal cavity. And two is that you get a tighter fit with the masks. So including that additional mask over your current masks will allow for a tighter fit, a proper seal. I mean, regular masks already do a pretty good job of doing a good seal, but sometimes I notice that this area gets a little loose on me sometimes. So that second mask will make the seal even tighter, similar to an N95. Now, the ideal way to double mask, according to a lot of healthcare professionals who have done research on mask filtration, is to wear a surgical mask 
and on top of the surgical mask wear a cloth mask. So when you include that cloth mask, the cloth mask acts like an additional filtration barrier from coronavirus to get through your surgical masks and it makes the seal of the surgical mask that much better. Now I'm not the only one advocating for double masking or the only person doing double masking out there. Actually there's plenty of notable figures that have already started to double mask and probably have started to double mask even before I have started to double mask. Actually, even President Joe Biden has been spotted outside double masking. He does the traditional way where you wear a surgical mask and then a cloth mask over it. Kamala Harris has been reported to be double masking now. And even in the inauguration, we see poet Amanda Gorman double masking with her really fancy Prada mask in front of another mask underneath. And even someone like myself, who is going to be vaccinated and people that have already been vaccinated, it's really important for you to continue to wear masks, continue to double masks because of the fact that we don't know about these new COVID strains. So go out there, buy yourself some masks and keep yourself protected. Thank you all so much for watching. That's it for this video. I hope you found it entertaining. I hope you found it informational. I hope that you will share it with someone that could benefit from this information. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and I'll see you on the next one. This has been Love You All. Please stay safe.